Dr. Kelly Morgan here at Trio Natural Medicine and today I am going to show you how to do the collection for the saliva cortisol test. So you will get a kit that looks just like this and so when you're ready to do the test you're going to open up the kit and everything that you need for the test is included inside the kit. So you have your lab requisition form and then you're going to have your instructions and then the um, collection tubes and the shipping label. So the instructions are included in the test kit and um, you're going to be following them right here. So you'll notice that the tubes are labeled morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, and then there's an age file. So make sure you use the right tube at the right time. So you'll notice that the tubes have a cotton swab inside the tube. So there's two ways that you can do the test collection. You can either put the cotton swab under your tongue and let it saturate with saliva, or what I recommend, which is easier, is you just throw the cotton swab away and then you're gonna spit directly into the vial until it's half full. So you don't have to fill it to the top, just till it's half full. And then when you finish um, collecting the saliva, you will um, twist the cap back on, make sure it's it's closed tightly. You will make sure you label the tube with your name and date of birth, and then you will store it in the refrigerator until you have completed the test. So the, all five tubes have to be collected on the same day, and you have to be fasting an hour um, for each tube. So the first collection is done within 30 minutes of waking up in the morning between 6 and 8 a.m. So before you brush your teeth or eat or drink anything except for water, you will do the first tube. And um, then the second tube is gonna be between 11 and 1 p.m. The third tube is between 4 and 5 p.m. And the uh, fourth tube is between 10 p.m. and midnight. And then there's another tube that does not have a cotton swab and it's labeled with um, an H file. And so that one um, can be collected any time of day. Um, it has to be an hour away from the other vials and it is best collected in the morning or midday. So let's say for example, you wake up at 6 a.m. So you would do the first two between 6 and 6.30 and then you have breakfast, let's say at 8 a.m. And then you could do the H file at 9 a.m. and then go ahead and, and complete the, the collections as instructed. Um, a few tips to help with saliva production um, is you can touch uh, your tongue to the roof of your mouth um, if you smell a lemon or vinegar or even think about um, those items that will help with saliva production. And there is no other preparation for doing the test. Um, the only thing is if you're on hormone therapy, um, which would include estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, or pregnenolone, you do want to discontinue or just skip those hormones the day before collection and the day of collection, so 24 hours beforehand. Um, and then you do have to avoid any steroids um, for two days before the test collection. So that would include any over-the-counter allergy medications like Flonase, um, any hydrocortisone creams, um, just make sure that you discontinue those two days before test collection. And then um, you will wanna make sure you fill out this form in, um, in the highlighted area, so your information goes here, um, then the date of collection goes um, here, and then you wanna make sure that the test um, is checked off, the correct test. So it's gonna be the NLASI TAP panel with DHEA, so make sure that's checked off. Um, and then you're gonna fill out the payment information with credit card number, or you can also write a check um, to the lab. So that's all you have to fill out. Um, and then you want to make sure when you're ready to send the test, when you've completed the test, um, you do have three days, as long as the samples are refrigerated, um, you have three days to send it to the lab. You will put the tubes back in the bag provided, and then that goes in the box. You'll make sure that this form is filled out, and then this also goes back in the box. And then you put everything in here and then you want to make sure the shipping label is um, attached to the box like this so you can use it to seal the box and then you can drop this off at any UPS location. 
And if you have any questions, you can always call our office and we can help you with any questions you have about collection. Um, and our office number here is 310-955-7261. And hope, I hope you found that helpful and thanks for watching.